Hello everyone, this is Sandeep here from Physics HQ. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums from 12th Physics Textbook of Maharashtra State Board New Syllabus 2020. In this video, we will be covering sums of kinetic theory of gases and radiation. So let us go ahead. Calculate the ratio of mean square speed of molecule of a gas at 30 Kelvin and 120 Kelvin. So mean square speed is given by 3 RT by M0 for a given gas R and M0 will be constant so we can write mean square speed is directly proportional to temperature let us take the ratio now so V1 square by V2 square will give us T1 by T2 T1 is given as 30 Kelvin T2 is given as 120 Kelvin so this is 1 by 4 so the ratio that we got is 1 is to 4 let us go ahead to the next sum. Two vessels A and B are filled with same gas where volume, temperature and pressure in vessel A is twice the volume, temperature and pressure in vessel B. Calculate the ratio of number of molecules of gas in vessel A to vessel B. So first of all we will see the equation of gas which is given as PV is equal to nRT. Now instead of R which is a universal constant we will be writing NA into KB. N A is Avogadro's number, K B is Boltzmann constant, small n which is number of moles that is equal to number of molecules divided by Avogadro's numbers. So let us put these two in this equation what we get P V is equal to instead of small n we will write capital N upon N A instead of R we will be writing N A into K B into T. So this Na and Na is cancelled. What we have is Pv is equal to capital N Kb into T where Kb is Boltzmann constant which is constant for all gases. So over here we can write N is equal to Pv upon Kbt. This is the number of molecules. So for different gases in different vessel we can write number of molecules in vessel A is equal to pressure in A volume in A upon Boltzmann constant into temperature in A. Similarly number of molecules in B is pressure in B volume in B upon Kb into temperature into B. The relation that they have given is volume temperature and pressure in vessel A is double or twice. Volume in vessel A is twice the volume in vessel B. Pressure in vessel A is twice the pressure in vessel B and temperature in A is twice the temperature in vessel B. Let us take the ratio of Na upon Nb. What we get? We get Pa Va upon Kb Ta divided by Pb Vb divided by Kb into Tb. So this Kb will cancel out because it is constant for both of them. Now what we can do is we can segregate them. So we got PA upon PB into VA upon VB into because T is in inversely proportional. So we'll write this as TB upon. Now let us use these equations to solve this. What we have is instead of PA we can write 2PB instead of VA we can write 2VB and instead of TA we can write 2T. So if you see maximum things will cancel out. So this VB, VB is cancelled, TB, TB is cancelled, we got this pressure being cancelled and there is this 2 also which is getting cancelled. So what we get answer is as 2. So the ratio is 2 over here, Na upon Nb is 2 is to 1. Let us go ahead. A gas in a cylinder is at pressure P. If the masses of all the molecules are made one third of their original value and their speeds are doubled, then find the resultant pressure. So the new mass is one third of the original mass. Let us say original mass is denoted by M1 and new mass by M2. New velocity V2 is twice the original velocity as they have given that speeds are doubled. We will be using the equation that gives the relation between pressure of the molecules and their velocities. The equation is P is equal to 1 by 3 n by v mv square. So from this what we can say is pressure is directly proportional to mass and velocity ka square. By using this relation we can write new pressure upon old pressure is equal to new mass upon old mass into new velocity ka square divided by velocity ka square. So instead of m2 we can write 1 by 3 m1 from equation 1. From equation 2 we can write 2 v1 square divided by v1 square. Okay. So what we are left with is 1 by 3 over here, 2 ka square will become 4, v1 square and v1 square will be cancelled. 
so what we are left with is 4 by 3 so what we can say is p2 is equal to 4 by 3 times p1 so the new pressure is 4 by 3 times the old pressure let us go ahead show that rms velocity of oxygen molecule is root 2 times that of sulfur dioxide molecule at standard temperature and pressure first of all we'll write down molecular masses of oxygen and sulfur dioxide molecular mass of oxygen is 32 and for sulfur dioxide it is 64 we will be using formula for rms velocity which is given by vrms is equal to root of 3 rt by the molecular mass okay now what we can say is velocity over here is inversely proportional to root of molecular mass so velocity for oxygen divided by velocity for sulfur dioxide is equal to root of molecular mass of sulfur dioxide and molecular mass of oxygen because it is inversely proportional so we will put the values what we have is 64 by 32 which is root of 2 so from this what we find is rms velocity of oxygen is root 2 times rms velocity of sulfur dioxide i hope you all understood this let us go ahead to the next sum at what temperature will oxygen molecules have same speed as helium molecules at standard temperature and pressure molecular masses of oxygen and helium are 32 and 4 so molecular mass of oxygen is 32 and molecular mass of helium is 4 next at standard temperature and pressure means temperature for helium is 273 Kelvin please remember this whenever they say standard temperature that means temperature is 273 Kelvin now what they have given is that speed is same so we'll be using RMS speed ka formula that we used in last sum which is RMS speed is equal to root of 3 RT by M so velocity for oxygen is root of 3 R temperature for oxygen and molecular mass for oxygen similarly Velocity for helium is root of 3 R temperature for helium divided by molecular mass of helium. Now they have said that speed is constant. So what we can write is V02 is equal to velocity of oxygen is equal to velocity of helium. Let us put it over here. So we got 3 R T temperature for oxygen and molecular mass of oxygen. This is equal to root of 3 R T for helium divided by molecular mass of helium let us take square on both sides what we are left with is 3 r temperature molecular mass this is equal to 3 r temperature of helium and molecular mass of helium as we can see we can cancel out 3 r on both the sides we want to find temperature of for oxygen so temperature for oxygen will be temperature for helium divided by mass for helium into mass of oxygen when this is taken on the other side so let us put the values temperature for helium is given as 273 kelvin mass of helium is 4 and molecular mass of oxygen is 32 so 4 8s are 32 let us multiply this by 8 so 8 3s are 24 7 8s are 56 57 58 and 8 2s are 16 and 5 is 21 so what we got is we got temperature for oxygen to be 2184 kelvin i hope you all understood this that's it from this video if you found this video useful please share it with your friends and classmates this is sandeep here from physics hq signing off